What's up everybody, it's your Pokemon Range Boy here and welcome to another episode review of the Pokemon X and Y series. Today's episode is episode 87 called Barney the Caretaker, the Spoiled Tyrant. And I have to say guys, this episode, first of all, it was really amazing. You could see not only how, how important Barney is for the X and Y gang, but also how much she cares about not only for Pokemon in general, but also for Pokemon she has bonded with. And in this episode, she has bonded with a certain tyrant. This tyrant got stolen from Team Rocket, but it quickly escaped after not accepting joining Team Rocket. And after it fell, it just, well, stuck in a river and couldn't get out, and Bonnie just helped it out. And after that quick time, she really has bonded with it, because that tyrant was some kind of a baby at that time, it cried a lot, it really liked to play. It was just a chill kind of baby Pokemon. What I really was impressed of is how much Bonnie, who's kind of also still a kid, took care of this Tyrant as some kind of a mother. I mean, this was really impressive. Bonnie just took care of it by playing with it, playing several games, um, feeding it, and also cleaning it. That brush, and wow, I, I was really impressed how much development. Barney has from the very first episode till today and in my opinion Barney is not a kid anymore Barney is Barney really has matured and I like that I really like that in this episode you could also see that Barney take responsibility for herself because I think um, during half of the episode she got separated from the other guys by Team Rocket and she was able to take care of herself of course with the help of Dedenne and Battleby but still, it was really impressive. She protected Tyrant several times by uh, tricking Team Rocket, fighting Team Rocket. Although she has lost against Team Rocket, you could see how and how much uh, how much love and responsibility she has for this Tyrant. And even when the situation was hopeless, she still wanted to rescue that Tyrant. And in that, all that love and that caring for this Tyrant ended up in that Tyrant actually evolving to a Tyrantrum. In my opinion, everything in this episode was perfect, except one thing. During the end of the episode, Bonnie actually wanted to keep that Tyrantrum. But after that Tyrantrum has deflected Clement's Pokeball, it was clear that this Pokemon wasn't a, wild, wasn't a wild one and that it would mean a goodbye between Bonnie and Tyrantrum. They have learned that a Tyrantrum is actually a part of a Asian Pokemon lab. And in this lab you could see Asian, Poke Asian fossil Pokemon like Aerodactyl and Kabuto. And well, you could also see several Tyrants and Tyrantrums. And it was clear that Barney's Tyrantrum was also part of it. It's really heartbreaking for me to see how sad Barney was. And she really tried to, she really tried to hold back herself with the tears. But in the end, she had to say sayonara to that Tyrantrum. Yeah, that, that was really sad in my opinion. I would love it if Tyrantrum were part of the XY gang because she, this Tyrantrum just bonded so quickly with Barney and this relationship was just like the dinner. And I wish that those two really would uh, travel together in the future. Maybe if uh, Barney one day become a real Pokemon trainer, maybe she will um, visit that Tyrantrum again, who knows. So guys, this um, uh, this episode was really amazing. Yeah, I uh, didn't like the fact that she didn't um, call that Tyrantrum. But well, that's life. You have to accept it and have to go on. That's part of adulthood, isn't it? So guys, I hope you liked it. And um, well, see you in my next video. Bye.